Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to our lovely spinning tech. In today's episode, we have two goals, the first of which is to finally upgrade our main vehicle, although it's been doing actually pretty well. It does need to be a little bit bigger. We have enough items to upgrade it, we have spare weapons everywhere, and honestly, a lot of the underside and the inside design really shows it was made over time rather than being thought out and being made that way. So what we're going to do is disintegrate this vehicle after saving it and then simply rebuild it from scratch. Although before we do, let's mention the second goal. Now the second goal is actually a new experimental item. I'm not sure if it was there before. If it was, I simply missed it. Or it was added in the most recent update, as you can tell by the title. We are now one step further into the development cycle, and there's an item which I forget the name of. Here we are in the research and development mode once more, looking at the item I simply forgot the name of, which is the Dynamo Generator. I have been warned, sadly, that these aren't working correctly at the moment, at least some people are having issues, though some people aren't, so I guess we'll find out that once we get them. But also, we have the Plasma Furnace. I don't care as much about this, but it does certainly look far cooler. So the Plasma Furnace will burn pretty much any resource block you feed it, other than things like the component blocks, giving you power, I believe, based on what you feed it. Once again, we'll find out that when we actually get the item itself. Right now, I don't want to spoil myself too much, so although we're looking at the items, we know of their existence, I'm not using them till I get them. Now, the dynamo generator might not be the best for our vehicle, but I still really want one. This block generates electricity, let's click that again, when attached to a moving tech. The faster the movement, the greater power generated which is really, really helpful. We do definitely want these just for a passive bit of power. We also have the Hawkeye SCU, which looks amazing, as you can see. And then we have things like this over here, the new Geocorp blocks. We have corners. There's so much stuff we still want in this game right now. So let's get back to the campaign. And let's see how much we can get. We're definitely still focusing on Geocorp for the time being, but I think a little bit of GSO and Hawkeye are in our future. Less so venture, sadly. The vehicle has melted, and now we can rebuild stronger and better, or at least hopefully. So we have loads of these wheels, so they're definitely what we're going to be using for the new design. They've proven to be pretty darn good, honestly, so I can't see any reason not to use them. Now, how wide do I actually want this bot to be, is the question. We could make it about this wide. We could make it far bigger, but I think this would be okay. If we made it eight wide, yeah, that would still be decent, I believe. So let's go with that. Let's move you to the top for now. We'll find somewhere safe for you to go once I've built the actual craft. And how long as well? Uh, maybe one more. This way we can have loads of mortars on the top and make it a real brute. Come on. Where's the... No. Thank you. I'm not good at pressing buttons. There we go. It's not too oversized, but it's certainly not tiny, although I am thinking that perhaps making it a little bit wider might be better if we make it this long. How does it look once we add the wheels? Once again, this is just the base, just so we can test out the overall size of this vehicle. Then maybe we could do this, if it ever spins in the correct direction. Thank you. How would that actually move? Turning on the spot is okay, and movement's fine. Turning whilst moving is okay. And let's see how these wheels actually handle hills. I can imagine this getting beached quite easily is the problem. I think what we're going to need to do is, like on the old vehicle, move all of these wheels one down. Oh, seems to be okay, though. 
Yep, there we go. Getting beached there in the middle. That little bit there ends up getting stuck on the corner. So what we need to do is move all of these wheels one down, like that, so that this isn't going to clip into everything. Then we can replace some of this core with some of the GeoCorp batteries. So I'll be right back once the base is a little bit more finished. Okay, that's a lot better. Having a bit more clearance on the bottom means overall travel is significantly easier. It is going to find very sharp corners a bit difficult, but that's just going to happen when I make this type of shape. I could still make it wider, that's the thing. It is very much in the realm of possibility, but for now, we'll just leave that as it is. We also now have a load of batteries in the centre, which is pretty darn good. Well, here's something which wasn't the case at the start of this season. If we are using the payload terminals, which I totally didn't forget the name of just then, you have unlimited of the items you can purchase. As you can see, if I want some of these, I could go ahead and keep on clicking them. In fact, let's just test it with this, because this is nice and cheap. And yep, nothing changes as you purchase them. Now sadly, I do need to level up a little bit, and some of them I do need to actually find the block or craft them, which I don't really want to do. I've enjoyed not crafting so far, although it is slowing the progress a little bit. The true nomadic way just seems weird if we bring along a crafter, although it does make sense. It's just a little bit odd. So this is the craft so far anyway. Yeah, there's still a lot to do. All this placement is just testing out the range of the bubbles using the Geocorp repair bubbles. And sadly, we only have the regular shield bubbles as our longest range shields. We will eventually get the Hawkeye bubble, the new version of the shield, which honestly looks amazing and is amazing. But that's in the future. So I will continue building this and hopefully soon it will be something which looks less like a sort of pancake. Building with only the smallest shields can be really difficult to make anything which looks half decent and then when you're going for weapon spam, it makes things even worse. It's very, very odd, but everything ends up looking very, very similar to everything else, which I really dislike. I think I just need more practice just trying to make things look good rather than doing this, but honestly, that's just fun. Just a hail of shots at the moment. Yeah. Very, very close to finishing now. It looks really heavily armoured, which I really like. It looks very, very sturdy. Like something which would take a fair few hits before actually crumpling, which does indeed make me smile. And we have loads of lovely lasers on the front so that we can cut through rocks from now on. We have a ridiculous amount of mortars. We have side weapons. We don't have any back weapons at the moment because the trailer is the next thing to be upgraded with some weaponry. So overall, yeah, it looks a bit like a turtle. And I'm happy with that. The one problem is, and it's a problem I was not expecting, is it causes the game to actually lag. Right now I have 65 frames per second. If I start holding down the fire button, it's now at 41. Now at 31, it's at 20, and it's stabilizing at 20. Yeah. Maybe a few too many projectiles. The back at the moment is unfinished because I want a second SCU, so we can have two at the back because I just think it looks nice. And I do want some other stuff, once again, we don't currently have access to, so it's going to look a little bit basic. But I'm happy enough, so let's move on over to our trailer, which really needs quite a few changes. Okay, so we've run into a couple of very small problems. Honestly, right now, we don't really have enough stuff to make what I wanted to make, and every time I want to do one thing to do with this, that's when I run into another small problem. So I think for now, 
We are going to have to make this quite a small craft, honestly staying pretty much as it was, except for now using the mobile version of the refinery and the delivery cannon. We need more in the future, but currently we're not high enough level to simply purchase them, which is the main problem we're running into, and we don't have the fabricator, even if we did want to use it. Now one thing I do want to test out is if the pacemaker will work when this is not in anchored mode. If it does work, then this is going to be absolutely fantastic, because honestly, it doesn't matter how few things we have, it's just going to happen really, really quick. Let's just do this for now. We also don't need much storage because of how fast these are going to be running through, and we won't be using a filter. Actually, we could just use a filter. Why wouldn't we use a filter? That's just silly. Swap you over to here for now. <laughs> Thank you very much, and what I would like is filter, let's just shove that there, and that is for any refined blocks, although it's going to be very rare that's going to happen, it is possible I suppose. And then just conveyor belt attaching that to there, okay. I'll leave this going this way because I have more ideas for the future. Like I say, we don't have enough stuff right now to make this like I want it to with scrappers and all that sort of stuff. So we're just going to armor it up a little bit. We're going to add some weapons, add the basic AI. There we are, the AI module so that it can actually fire. And then we're going to reattach it. This has been taking way too long on a side note. That very annoying moment where the block you want to add is one wide and the center of the vehicle you're adding it to is too wide. Yep, this won't be symmetrical. Time for a test. Let's see if the pacemaker works when we're moving, and it certainly does. Also, we definitely don't need those wheels on the front anymore, so I will be removing those very, very soon. But just look at that. No need to stop. We're just going to be making money constantly now as we are on our way. Really happy with that. We also have the guard module in. Obviously, we're not exactly done yet. It looks kind of, um... It looks like one of my builds, let's just say that. But yeah, definitely don't need those wheels on the front. They're just causing more issues than they're actually solving. Okay, let's get back, retrieve all our stuff, and then we will go off on our adventure. Well, after this fight. Trailer, you stay there. Hello! I'm killing every- oh god, that lag. Oh, maybe I need to tone it down with the mortars. It's definitely the mortars causing it more so than the other weapons. Oh, the new experience things are in now. Well, isn't that neat? As I bounce. I also can't wait to get the mobile SCU. That's going to be really freaking helpful. At the moment, the reason why I don't add the SCU to the craft is twofold. First of all, I want another one so it looks prettier. But the main reason, honestly, is just I don't want all of these items flying at us whilst we're on the move. And actually, that just randomly brought up a memory. What we really want, as well, is the mobile furnace. The mobile furnace, whatever it's actually called, which can turn wood into pure power on the move. So we can add that to the back trailer as well. So as we're chopping down trees, there's no need for us to stop and refuel, which would be really helpful as well. But yeah, those wheels, is there any point in them? I mean, they're not really getting in the way that much, but is there any purpose? I don't know. Well, we've pretty much run out of stuff. After looking at what stuff we've got left, there's actually very little we can currently sell, only having the GSO scrapper, and we've run out of stuff to build the back vehicle. So let's just go out and do some missions until we actually have enough money to continue which will probably be in the next video. Either way, though, I'm happy with our progress today. We have the trailer, we have it attached to the better version of the hitch, we have a much stronger vehicle, so powerful it kills frames per second. I'm happy enough. Ooh, the only thing I forgot, at least that I remember now, is that I forgot to re-add the thrusters. Um, adding them there seems silly. Sure, this doesn't seem silly at all in comparison. Oh yeah, that means we don't have fuel either, do we? But wait, there's Venture Fuel Pods for all of your fuel needs. There we go. Probably isn't even helping with our new weight, but it felt wrong without them.
through the tree line we go. Glorious, glorious money on the move. Truly, this is the time to be a nomad. Now that I think about it, won't the mobile furnace be affected by the pacemaker as well? If so, that thing could burn down a forest in moments. Hello enemies, welcome to lag. Oh my god, that melted you. Need to tone it down a bit apparently. Yep. I do so love my PowerPoint. <laughs> my PowerPoint games. Look at those homing mortars though, aren't they glorious to watch? Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that is awfully awesome. Mortars, go! Homing! Okay, what I need to do is shoot in a couple of bursts and then wait. Oh, I've got a good computer, but this is killing it. Oh. And, nope, the mortars are more agile than you, sir. Is that it? Are you the last fella? Also, did I actually finish talking about the SCU earlier? Why I don't norm- well, why I don't want it on my vehicle? It's because when you're fighting, all of those blocks will be heading towards you, getting in the way of your weapons. And more importantly, you're going to be destroying them with your weapons. Wait, I thought you just said the enemies are clear, and then it's telling me, oh, actually, we lied. I do wish as well that weapons could aim at separate targets a bit better. Like right then, that, those lasers could have easily hit this guy, but decided not to. Finally! Let's put down the larger version, that should be a bit easier. And let's see what we get. Nothing really all that awesome, honestly. But at least we got a storm lantern. There we go, now we're pretty. What next? Getting close to finishing some of the Hawkeye stuff, which is good. Well, not that one, but the more easy ones. Ooh, we need to find an invasion. There's actually a lot of stuff we need to find. And a lot of rocks we need to destroy. Let's do that one next. So I think the vehicle has proved itself. It's just, um... I'm going to restart the game to see if that helps. Well, after several restarts, checking to make sure my drivers are all up to date and all of that usual stuff you should always have a quick check of, talking to friends and other things, yeah, it turns out that the game doesn't like the explosions. Simulating the explosions and getting all those working is what's causing the most problems. So I might have to tone the weapons down. I don't want to tone the weapons down, however, because they're fun. Well, anything interesting in the box? They're not interesting things, they're enemies. Also, I like that we're big enough now that we can just push our thing aside. Oh, hello. And by thing, I meant trailer. Oh, dear lord, at one FPS. <laughs> that so needs to be toned down. <laughs> oh, but I love them, though. Either we need to tone them down or fire in short bursts. That's really the options we have here. Well. Uh, what's that? That's just a refinery, right? Um, so nothing too interesting. Got some devil horns, which is pretty cool. But no, nothing too interesting. We need to get to level 5 with GSO, because then we can unlock everything, which is quite a big deal. And so, we just continue. GSO, Hunter complete. Okay, then, what do we have? This is, of course, from Hawkeye. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Block magnet. Okay, they have their own magnet now. We also have their refinery and we have their fabricator. Okay. 
That is not bad at all. Also, as you can see, the lag is not as bad anymore. Still pretty bad, but not as bad. I've been tweaking a few settings and making sure my computer is only running Terratech and the recording software, so... It's getting better. It's just... It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Which is making me really sad because I love the mortars. They're so much fun. Here's a question. What on earth is that symbol? Does that indicate that that tech is Venture? If so, I've been missing that the whole time. There we go, homing mortars and... Yes indeed, that was Venture. Okay, I did not notice that, so apparently the different groups now have their own symbol attached to them. And that's a railgun. Okay, that's pretty awesome, so now we're moving on to the more advanced weaponry, which is very, very cool. Behold the beauty of mortars. It's just that homing effect on the way down. It's so satisfying to watch. Even if I now can only fire one volley at a time for fear of the audio effect stacking so much it causes lag, which is one of the issues, apparently, in addition to everything else, it's still just worth it. Kill Tex. Will do. Uh, I don't want to do craftier business. Box of tricks. A kit box containing adventure parts has been spotted nearby. What is it doing there? Who knows? If you're quick enough, I'm never going to reach that. Uh, I'll grab that. Why not? Since I need to kill people anyway, why not kill some venture people? Being all quick and stuff. When everyone knows the true way is to be sluggish and slow. Like my brain. Who needs to have line of sight if you have mortars? They're like little missiles. They're glorious. I don't really feel like I'm actually using mortars with how they currently function, but, you know, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make for something that just makes me happy. Back, back, there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Was that enough to kill you? Apparently not. Thankfully, the poor fellow there who's being just slowly shot at is actually immune to damage, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, your shield was nothing in comparison to the power of mortars. It's such a bizarre change, though, still. The first time I tried mortars, I absolutely hated them. The first season, they were easily my least favorite weapon. At the moment, I would say they're my favourite, even including things like the Hawkeye missiles. These are just really, really enjoyable. I also love the experience text. That is really nice. Oh, hello, hello. What do we get? First of all, you are going to be absorbed into the greater consciousness. Thank you. Your distinctiveness will, of course, be added to our own. Um, anything interesting? Got some wings, which is always good. Got some fuel, which is good. What are you? A birthday cake hat! Oh, I love birthday cake! Oh, look how cute that is! I love birthday cake. No, really, Lathrix. There's very few people in this world who don't like birthday cake, especially since it comes in so many varieties, so really it's just people who don't like cake in general. Which, actually, I know two people who are like that. They aren't that rare. I just blew my own mind. That's a rare thing to do. Well, it may seem like a pretty abrupt end, but right now I am calling the episode with all the diagnostic work I've been doing off camera, like two hours worth, and then the building and messing around. I am way out of time, and it's getting pretty darn late. So thank you so much for watching. I am happy with our progress today, even though we didn't get some of the items we wanted, but we do have the mobile refinery and the vehicle working. I wonder how much the mortars will try and go back on themselves.
So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favorites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I'll be doing a bit of work off camera to make sure that the lag is less in the next video, or I will just be changing the vehicle slightly so it uses more lasers and stuff. Thank you again for watching. And goodbye. Most rambly outro ever.